Good afternoon and welcome to the Humidor Report. Justin here from Beaumont's very own Cigar Club. Uh, I believe last week, even if not in the video, at least in the description of the video, I may have teased a little something that was coming up. We're going to hold off on that. We want y'all to stick around and wait until next week. Uh, we've got a new in-house promo that's coming up. I was hoping to let y'all know about it today, but we're still finalizing some of those details. So be watching next week's video to see what our next in-store promo giveaway is going to be. So instead for this week, we're looking for something that is new to us and we have it right here in the middle of the table. Uh, even though the brand is not necessarily new, uh, there are some new things and a number of things here that are new to us. Now, Punch, obviously, if you're talking about the age of the brand, Punch, it does go back, I believe, to the late 1800s. Uh, and we're obviously talking about the Cuban Punch, which is still in production and is one of the longest and oldest continually produced brands in the cigar game. So if you're even vaguely into cigars, which I imagine you are if you're watching this video, you have at least heard of Punch if not had some over the years. Well, what we've got here is some new stuff, uh, new to us anyway, uh, and we've got six blends from the Punch brand that we now have represented in the humidor. Prior to this, we've carried some of the classics. We had some Grand Puro Nicaraguas at some point, uh, but Punch hasn't necessarily been one that has been flying off the shelves over here. So maybe we figured let's try a few different things and let's see if we can breathe a little life into it and give all of you cats and gals out there uh, something new to smoke in the process. Uh, what we have here at the front of the table is what they are calling their 93 sampler, the Punch 93 sampler. In that, all four of the cigars in this tray have received the 93 rating. I believe all of them from Cigar Aficionado. But 93 ratings on all of these. And we're going to tell you just a basic breakdown of what all four of these blends are. We're going to start with the classic over here to my right. Uh, that is the Punch After Dinner is the name of that size. Uh, the classic blend is an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper. There's a Connecticut broadleaf binder. And the filler is Honduran, Nicaraguan, and Dominican Piloto Cubano. Uh, that is the classic punch. If you've only ever smoked one punch, chances are good, that's the one you smoked. And then after dinner size, it's kind of moving almost into Lonsdale territory. A little thicker than a Lonsdale, but it's got some good length to it. Uh, or maybe look at like a kind of a fat Lonsdale, or maybe a slightly shorter or skinnier Churchill. But it is a, a good size. If you're looking for something to smoke on for a little while, it's definitely bigger than the other sizes of Punch Classic that we have carried here in previous uh, days, years, months, and years now. Now, next to it, we have the original Grand Puro. We've carried the Grand Puro in Nicaragua, but this is the original Grand Puro. Puro meaning pure, or that it all comes from one country. It is a Honduran Puro, so 100% Honduran tobacco wrapper binder filler on that. The Santa Rita, it's about your Robusto size there. Uh, it is the smallest of the four, uh, but that one is the Punch Grand Puro line there, all Honduran cigar. Now next to it, we have the Punch Diablo, the fullest bodied offering from the Punch brand. Uh, the Diablo actually has an Ecuadorian Sumatra Oscuro wrapper, so Oscuro being double Maduro, if you will, if you're not familiar with that terms as far as color grading goes. Oscuro is the darkest level of color in wrapper leaf, darker even than Maduro. Uh, so again, Ecuadorian Sumatra Oscuro on that. The binder on the Diablo is a uh, Connecticut broadleaf, and the filler is Nicaraguan and Honduran Habano Ligero. So a lot of strength. All that uh, that Ligero leaf you have in the filler tobacco is going to add a lot of power to that. That is what makes that such a strong offering from a brand not necessarily known for being full-bodied. Uh, but the Diablo definitely is. Definitely in that full-bodied territory. Very rich, very full. You'll probably like that one as well. And now on the very end over here is the Grand Cru. Now we had Grand Puro. This is Grand Cru. And the Grand Cru typically would have a Connecticut wrapper except for this size. The Grand a uh, crew number two is a Maduro. And not only is it a Maduro, it is an Ecuadorian Sumatra Maduro. It's a Connecticut broadleaf binder. And the filler tobacco on that one is going to be Honduran, Nicaraguan, and Dominican Piloto Cubano as well. So that is the Punch 93 trade that we have there. Four different blends, uh, all from Punch. And then we got these two guys hanging out here in the back. Now this one is called the Knuckle Buster. And it comes in two different offerings, a Habano and a Maduro. The Habano is a Nicaraguan 
Nicaraguan Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan Habano binder, and Nicaraguan and Honduran Habano filler. So lots and lots of Habano happening here. If you are a Habano fan, which I happen to be, uh, that's all Habano. Just different primings and a few different countries sourced, but all Habano on this one. Now for the Maduro, it is different all the way down the board. Uh, it's a Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro wrapper on this one, which tends to be that somewhat sweeter Maduro. Uh, you have an Indonesian binder, and you have Nicaraguan filler. Now, another big talking point on these guys is the price. At $5.99 a stick, and that's after you know, excise tax and all that kind of good stuff that goes into cigar pricing, we're still $6 a stick on these. That's practically bundle territory. Uh, but this is a, a premium, long-fill, handmade cigar. We're not talking about a mixed filled with Cuban sandwich like most bundles are. This is not a bundle stick. It is just an extremely well-valued priced stick. So at $6 a stick, it is definitely meant to be an everyday priced smoke. Uh, we just got them in. I haven't had a chance to try them yet. I'm not even lying to you. We just got these guys in yesterday. Uh, but we do have these on the shelves. Six new blend or five new blends to us, and we've added another size of the Punch Classic in the after dinner. Uh, but if you are a Punch fan, we definitely have some new choices here for you. If you haven't tried Punch, again, it's one of those venerable old brands, and they do have a broad enough uh, spectrum of flavor profiles and strengths in their portfolio now. Now, that even if you smoke punch in the past and it was just a little mild or not necessarily your thing, there's definitely some offerings, particularly that Diablo and even uh, the Knuckle Busters here, that are really pushing more to that medium, medium full, and even full body territory. So there is a little something for everybody here uh, from Punch, if that's what you were looking for these days. We got it, a few different offerings here on the shelf, so do come by, check it out, and see what you think. Now, again, next week we'll be talking to you about our new promo that coming up. I'm not going to tell you what it's about yet or who it's even done with. Uh, you guys will have to tune in next week, same time, same place, and see what is hip and happening here at Cigar Club Southeast Texas on Walden Road in Beaumont. So that's going to wrap us up for this week's edition of the Humidor Report. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe, turn on your notifications so you can be the first one to know what's happening here at Cigar Club in Beaumont. And until next week, I'm Justin, and we'll see you at the club.